Modern naval mines are both fairly simple but also incredibly complex devices. Their simplicity is due to their overall lack of components, and their complexity is the result of high intelligence programmed into them. Modern mines also have a variety of safety features that old mines never had, like the ability to be easily stored or stockpiled, and the ability to self-destruct or self-sterilize to keep wildlife and water safe after the mines are no longer needed. The makeup of a naval mine usually looks like this. It contains flight gear or handling gear, an explosive case, an arming device with an explosive train, a target detecting device, and a battery. The flight or handling gear is used to transport and deploy the mine from any one of the deployment techniques in the military's arsenal. The explosive case contains the raw explosive material contained in the mine, usually identical to the types of explosive used in bombs. The arming device and explosive train provides the initial arming of the mine after deployment. You can think of this assembly as the key that allows a mine to be detonated. When the arming device and train are properly aligned, the target detecting device can do its job and actuate the mine. The target detecting device is the most important part of any given mine. It's the one component that makes something a naval mine, and not just a bomb. This device senses any number of triggers from the surrounding water, whether that be seismic, acoustic, pressure, or magnetic, and it actuates the mine on a given set of constraints. Different ships will have different signatures in any one of these categories, which allows the mine's internal technology to make informed decisions on when to activate. When all of these components are assembled together in proper functionality, you get a naval mine that can be a highly effective, intelligent weapon in the naval battle space.